man is on. Of course, this one made good, <laughs> good, good morning, America. Of course, this makes good morning, America. Man, hit the like button, man. Take the $5 challenge via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat, man. Three people taking the $5 challenge. That's embarrassing, man. I'm going to get laughed out the next YouTube YouTuber um, secret meeting we have, man. Um, let's see, man. Um, new guy in the building, man. Are you shocked that this um story made it to Good Morning America? We're going to go now to a tragic story out of Ohio, where an elderly man is under arrest after fatally shooting an Uber driver, where authorities believe they were both victims of a scam. Alex Perez joins us now with the details. Good morning on this tragic story, Alex. Hey, good morning, Michael. Authorities say over the course of several weeks, this- Why is he talking like that? <laughs> I just got talking like that. The details. Good morning on this tragic story, Alex. Hey, good morning, Michael. Authorities say over the course of several weeks, this man had received several calls from a scam artist demanding that he hand over $12,000. And authorities say he mistakenly thought the Uber driver was somehow connected to this scam. Warning, video may be tough to watch. This morning, authorities warning the public after a phone scam turned fatal. This dramatic dash cam video capturing the deadly confrontation between a female Uber driver and an Ohio homeowner last month after authorities say they were both unknowingly targeted by scammers. Getting a report of a female that has been shot. She's laying in the driveway. 81-year-old William Brock charged with the murder of 61-year-old Uber driver Lolita Hall. Police say it all started when Brock received multiple calls from scammers who told him a relative had been arrested and demanded $12,000 for bail, telling him a driver would arrive at his home to pick up a package with the money. The guy on the phone was trying to get money out of me. He was telling me he was going to... Yo, man, the family. Authorities believe the same scammers directed Hall through the Uber app to pick up a package at Brock's home. They say this video shows her walking up to his. The only person that should be charged in this case is the scammers. Press one. The only person that should be charged in this case are the scammers, in my opinion. This this man behaved reasonably. Yeah, it's this is a rough one. It really is. I don't think he should be charged with murder, even if he if he's charged at all. It, it it's hard. Like he didn't call authorities or do anything, and I get that aspect of it. But they did set him up. So no, the scammer should definitely get like murder one. No doubt, if they can get him. If they can get him, this one's gonna be hard either way. It's just going to be hard. I mean, like, she didn't do anything wrong. He should have at least called the police, I feel like, if they're doing it for a long time. But at the same time, the scammer said that, that they were going to kill him. So, yeah, and he's 81. You know, that's another problem. He's 80 fucking one. He, he's probably not. He's feeble, and that all plays a part into it. Of why he did what he did. I don't think people will understand what that's like until they reach their 80s and, you know, it's like a fucking 10 year old killed him. <laughs> no. With the bare hands, you're just weak. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Um, I mean, I, I understand I, the family's perspective. I can understand their perspective of the woman. I mean, she was backing off and she was like, whoa, but he doesn't. He's 81. He probably doesn't understand how Uber works or how any of this shit works. You know, well, so, I mean, so why would he have to understand how Uber works? All it is, it's, it's somebody sitting in his driveway for 25 minutes. Now they're coming to the door. And he was he was instructed to have to put a package with twelve thousand dollars at the fucking door. And now this woman's coming up here and people are saying that uh, she wasn't a threat. Well, yeah, I mean. In, in hindsight, as you looking at this, but as an 81-year-old man, you don't know she's alone. 
Yeah, no, I get that. I get what you're saying. And, and if there's anything that's going no, to be talked about, I, I, and I get what you're saying. I, I get what yeah. you're saying. You don't have to repeat it. I get what you're saying. I yeah, get what you're saying. I'm saying like, like it's just, it's just, it's just like, it's like, yeah. I, I don't see any way you can charge this guy with murder, man. Not it's, doing it's, it's, it's because she tried to leave, though, right? Like, isn't that the key factor here? She tried to exit the situation. Yeah, she's the scammer, but if she, in his mind, uh, reasonably, she's with the scammers. And she's come at, they threatened to kill him, and now they're here for their $12,000. Yeah, I mean, like, that's that's so obviously going to be his defense in court. <laughs> but, I, like, I, I don't, like, no matter what, you kind of can't, like, kidnap a person and, like, force them to stay in an area unless you're a cop, But right? it's like, reasonable that he would have done something like that. This is reasonable behavior. Right. Yeah. I yeah. I agree. It is in it is reasonable, but it's still not going to prevent a, a charge. I think even if this lady was white, there were, he would still probably be charged. To be honest. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's going to prevent the. I think I think the I think had he arrested her, it would have been okay and called the police. But shooting her outright is. It's, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's trying to arrest her. And then a fight breaks out because she she's behaving reasonably. She she yeah. behaved perfectly reasonably. Yeah, but but it's like I don't I think legally it's going to be very difficult to to like attempt to arrest someone who's fleeing like that that seems tough in court. Mm. Circumstances when Brock confronts her at gunpoint. I was threatened that she was going to come and kill me. You can hear Hall frantically trying to explain why she's there. Yeah, but at this point, when he's got the gun, do you look like just, 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 just acquiesce, man, right? Like, he hasn't come out, he hasn't just come out like a sun man and just started dumping on you. He's holding you at gunpoint. At this point, just acquiesce and just be like, "All right, I, you know, what I'm saying, I wait for the police. Like, don't yeah, try to like keep leaving and shit." I'm no lawyer, but like legally speaking, I think acquiescing will would fall under the category of trying to just leave or flee. I think that's what he's going to find in court. No, what I'm talking about is for her to save her life. I'm not talking about this legal shit. I'm talking about just be just human interaction. Yeah. A man has a gun on you. Yeah. Whatever he day, says, yeah. do just do that shit, man. Like, for instance, if, if if any of these sun men that we covered in any of these stories had a gun on her, you think she would have gave them some lip? Or you think she would have just did whatever the fuck they asked her to do? Yeah, no, you're obviously right. She's not gonna give him lip. <laughs> Uh, she's just gonna be like, "Here's my wallet. Here's my all right, all right. I'm I'm not moving. I'm freezing. Like like, she 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 tried to leave, which was reasonable. Don't get me wrong. All I'm saying is that in the future, if anybody who's watching this video, man, if a guy's not shooting you, and he just wants you to stay there so he can so he can you know so the police can come." Hey man, you might want to think about doing that. That should be an option you weigh heavily, other than continuing to try to leave, because that's probably like it's kind of like when, when you rob somebody. It's like the the gun is give me the money. So if you don't give them the money, then they shoot you. Same in this case. Stop moving, and then you keep moving, and they shoot you. It's it's kind of like the 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 gun is 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 there for for. The, to ensure that you you honor the request, I don't know, man. Um, that's what I always thought. Is there you more can video? Hear Hall frantically. This angle? Yeah, this is this is this is her her dash cam. Okay, so this is all they're ever going to get. Explain why she's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're after. Police say Brock took her cell phone See, and when she says, "I'm here to pick up a package," that that doesn't that doesn't make him any like that's like okay yeah you're the people on the phone 
<laughs> Sir, I'm here to pick up a package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, from a logical, yeah, from a logical perspective. Yeah, you really can't hit this guy with. It's, it's going to be hard. But the problem is, people are going to want some sort of justice. If you could, obviously, if you could catch the people that did this, I think he would probably get nothing because the, the family of the state would be satisfied. Police say Brock took her cell phone and when she tried to get in her car to get to safety, investigators say Brock shot her three times. Then he called 911. I shot her in the leg first time and I shot her in the shoulder. Hall later dying from her wounds. Officers are searching Brock's home after the shooting, saying they answered a call from a person they believed to be the scammer who agreed to a meeting but never showed up. Investigators saying they traced that number to Canada, but it's believed to be a burner phone number. Uber banning that account, cooperating with authorities, and in a statement saying, this is a horrific tragedy and our hearts continue to be with Lolita's loved ones. According to the FTC, in 2023, there were more than 33,000 reports of family and friend imposter scams like this and $89 million lost. So that's a viable scam, man. That's a scam yeah. that works. But How, old people... Uh, all how is uh black twitter taking to this story here oh man they're they're, they're not happy at all man yeah. um they're, they're not happy at all black twitter man um they're they're of, of course they they they're being um reasonable about it and and, and, and logical about it of course we know that right are, are they um, saying that this could happen to anybody despite the color of their skin are they saying that? <laughs> oh, no. Not quite, man. Um, they're saying, um, let's see what the let's see what the uh black the blacks are saying, man. Um But but ABC News covered that pretty fairly and I they Yeah, they like, did. Like that like it they didn't even mention race, which is shocking. It is shocking, yeah. No, they I did was surprised they did. about that. They, they they did, they did. Um they did um, cover it pretty fairly. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, the lady was literally walking away from him. Call the police should always be the first step. Um, well, this isn't a black site. This is more of a, um, a mixed site. Let's, you, you already know white liberals, they're going to get online. They can't say. They have to take the black like so you don't know what they you don't know what white liberals think because they'll they they can't be they, they don't have the ability to be truthful and honest um uh let's see if we can find a um a, a black site talking about this man um where black people are talking about this because uh you know they they they're the they're the they're the adults in the room I mean, here, here's the thing, Auk, like to, what we should take from this is what it shows is in order to get a glider man to shoot or kill a black person, they have to think that they're like literally being home invaded. <laughs> yeah. You know, just like that other yeah. old white guy, like a year or two ago with that kid trying to like break into his house or whatever. Like those are the necessary conditions you need to, to even get, you know, a glider to kill you basically. Oh yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt, it's 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 um the 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 data shows that everything everything shows that. So let's see, um, we got this one right here. Uh, was the Ohio man racist or senile that shot and deleted the black Uber driver? Oh, that's chaotic. Um, this woman says, "I hope the old racist bastard spends his final days under the prison." Um, this sister says, never mind. It did make national news and they are trying to betray this racist murderer as the victim. <laughs> um, Lolita Hall, 61, was doing her job as an Uber driver. She was unarmed and he shot her three times, killing her. They let that old racist demon out on bond. Yeah, because, you know, they only let him out on bond because he's white they'd never let black people out of uh, um no matter if he was scammed she was unarmed i mean did he pat her down <laughs> i don't know if he black people aren't safe anywhere anytime that's actually true 
That last part is actually true. Um, didn't they get into like a physical altercation though? Yeah, yeah, they left that. They left that part out. Oh, ABC left that part out. And there's there's um, no video of that, right? So that that's gonna turn into a he said she said. Audio but... of it. No, there's probably audio of it because okay. her dash cam has audio. Um, they're not sending their best somewhere. I read Ohio woman arrested for racist tirade. Oh no, that's a different. Oh, that's an old one. Jesus Christ. Um, Ohio man allegedly shoots and kills Uber driver after both received sex scam calls. White racist Republicans will flock to this murderer's defense and say he has a mental illness. No, he doesn't have a mental illness. <laughs> Nah, yeah, they, they they don't understand the way the world works. They they're not very, you know. They just, I mean, some people are just not very smart, man. It's just it is what it is, man. Um, it is what it is, man. They project a lot too. Hey yo, uh, is insane. Go ahead, what's up? All those posts you read sound perfectly logical to me, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, man, I know, man. It just just makes a whole lot of sense, man. Um. That you know, this guy they can't see anything other than race. In this case, all they see is race. It's crazy. Um, that is crazy that even in this case, the only thing they see is race. Um, white man charged with murdering black woman who would drive over a scam she wasn't responsible for. Um, yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, um, I'll give you that, black people. That That is true. She wasn't responsible for it, man. Um, it's, it's a tragedy, man. It's a, it's a fucking tragedy, man, that what happened to her, man. Um, we, um, I'm, I'm not happy that it, I, I I'm sad, man, that that happened to that woman, man. Her last moments were, were this. You know what I'm saying? Her last moments were spent like that. I'm saddened by that, man. I'm not happy about that. Um, this does not make me feel good that that was that woman's last moments. I still don't think that both parties behaved reasonably. Um, and the, the only people that should be charged with murder is the... Um, the scammers, but they can't catch the scammers because it's a burner phone from Canada. Um, let's see. Let's see what the, the black people on, on Instagram were saying. She was not a threat. I mean, it doesn't. She's that like uh, they can't see. This is an abstract. This is a very abstract story because you have to be able to understand that both people were, you know what I'm saying, thinking. I think this one's too heavy for black people. Yeah, it's, you know, kind of just how would you feel if you didn't have breakfast this morning type Yeah, of. yeah. This is this is too heavy. They, they're not going to be able to get this one. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's um, if he was so afraid, why didn't he stay inside till 911 arrived? Um, this one says, this happened in my city. That poor elderly lady was limping and scared, begging and explaining to him. He took her cell phone from her as she was trying to walk away from him. He shot her, then tortured her, then shot her two more times, then decided to call 911 like he was really scared, saying he was trying to he, he was trying to be robbed. This was a racist man that smirked in his arrest photo. If 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 racism, if smirking in your arrest photo was racist, man, jeez, um, he has been charged with murder, but of course he's probably going to use lies to get out of it. She didn't deserve this at all. She deserved to be home resting with her health issues, receiving retirement, struggling to work, survive. This broke my heart. Um. He saw black skin and his killer instinct was activated. 
Yeah, it is projection. It really is. <laughs> Damn, uh, that was rough, man. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. Um, let's see. Uh, this one says, if she looks scared and confused, and going back to her car out of fear, well, it could be a weapon in the car. <laughs> like, I mean, he doesn't know. She could have a weapon on her person. He hasn't patted her down or searched her car. So, like, I mean, I just don't understand. But um, anyway, um, and you continue to follow her, not letting her get back into the, the car in the driveway. You, sir, should remain behind bars. <laughs> no bail for this guy. <laughs> Black people are against bio reform. <laughs> Isn't that crazy how that works? They, they, they've seen the light, y'all. <laughs> bail reform doesn't work. Um, yeah, man, brothers, we got to, uh, you know, black people, we got a sixth sense for racism, man. That's like our superpower. We can just know who's racist just by looking at him. Yeah. Um, it says, uh, he killed that beautiful Asian woman for no reason. He had no problem calling 911 after the fact, but never called them before. Why didn't he just stay inside and call the police when she arrived? Says the group of people that records themselves fighting in the streets all day. Uh, yeah, also the same people that say never call the police on a black person because it's a death exactly. Death. <sighs> says, um, this is outrageous. <laughs> I feel so bad for that woman. If he thought she was a threat. He already had her at gunpoint. Why didn't he hold her there until the authority? Because <laughs> she, that's what he was trying to do. Um, that's what he was trying to do, moron. These people are morons, man. Um, some people just don't deserve guns. Why do we just let anyone have guns? Oh my god. I can think of a group that would particularly apply to. <laughs> it's just like it's crazy. The lack of self-awareness, man. Um he was already angry. She posed no threat and he knew it. He's just been waiting 81 years to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Just to kill right, out, right out of the womb, man. <laughs> right out of the womb. Doctor slaps him on the butt. Where the black people at? <laughs> yeah, man. It took him 81 years, too. Like, that's the crazy part. Like, he didn't get this done at 11, 21, 31. He had to wait for 81 years to get this done, man. Now he can go die. Um, it's giving hate crime. That lady posed no threat whatsoever <laughs> for Esther Lowe. Oh, and this is like awkward. Like these people here, is this your average black person? Do you think average running yes. the mill doctors, lawyers, judges, Kroger's yeah. cashiers? Uber drivers, um, bellmen, doormen, uh, mailmen, uh, thugs, hoodlums, hoochie mamas, baby mamas. I'm saying like 90, 90% plus, probably. That's my estimate. Yo, the vast yeah. majority. My parents, my parents would say something like this. My uncles. <laughs> Every there's not a black person that I don't know. I mean that I know. You ever uh, argue with your family about this shit? 
I mean, I would I would definitely say my side of the story, and they would definitely, yeah, of course it would be argument, but it it, it wouldn't it, it just like there's nobody I know that wouldn't say something along these lines. Yeah. And like this uh this this thing that you're scrolling down here, like this is how we got OJ Simpson, this type of behavior. Yeah. Um this is just like yeah. This is just, just genetic how, communism. Um, yeah, this is this is this is just what it is. Like this is how they view this is the worldview, the collective worldview. Now there may be if we fish for it. There may be one man in here who says who has a different view, but all of the women, like ninety nine percent of the women, are gonna feel that way. It may be let's just say ninety five percent of the men are gonna feel that way. The same, say the same thing. Um, let's see. It's uh. Let me see. Uh, yeah, there's, there's there's not much. Um, Sir Root, I think they meant Rot. Rot in jail. He knew that lady was just as old as him. Actually, she was 20 years younger, but whatever. Um, couldn't take him out with a gun in hand. He could have told her to leave and that be that. And then continue to get calls and continue to have this, the mystery of who's extorting them over the phone unsolved. Nah, you hold that person for police if the if you truly think that they're down with the scam. Um, well, this person well, says it's not a race issue. Just said that's good. We'll see. What you said a second ago, like I feel like that's how Americans used to think. But now, you know, in the in the in the current time, it's like you're almost supposed to run away from the criminals. Basically what they're saying here, like you're supposed to hide in your own house and even evacuate mm -hmm. your own house if somebody breaks into it. Yeah. 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 If an 81 year old brown man shot a white Uber driver, the police would have pulled up and shot him. No excuse needed. Here we Praise go. <laughs> Here we go. The, the yeah. cops just roll up. Man, if that were the case, dude, there'd be a way more dead black people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, there'll way be a black more. person. There'll be a black person on every block. A dead black person on every block, man. Yeah, they wouldn't be alive for much longer. Like, if that's exactly how the cops work, they would be like. Mm -mm -mm. Like how many of these sun men in New York City are getting shot by police after they push a China lady into the tracks? Like every single one of them is, comes out alive. Or punch a nine-year-old. Or yeah. punch a white woman. <laughs> or, or punch or, a or, white or, girl or, in the face. Yeah, like it, it's it's just Yeah, uh this is this is this is just I mean, some people are just not that bright, man. Um it is what it is. What's up, Crook County? What's what's your thoughts, man? Uh man, that's gonna be an interesting one. I tell you that. This one's gonna be very interesting. They're gonna push it though. He going to trial. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think he what do you think he did wrong? Um, they're gonna get on on the, they gonna get him on pursuing her when she walking away. So anytime like so the duty to retreat is a clause like with the law. So they have a duty to retreat. If there's a possibility to avoid it, you're supposed to avoid it, you know? Mm -hmm. So she was she was walking away. He closed the the gap the distance on her, which you know initiated the tussle. The tussle led to shots fired and a person being dead. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. it's an ugly form. So as a cop who would write the charging document, you would charge him with something? All right, so as a like as, as a like the cop cop, like the preliminary, the, the cop that come in uniform, yeah. you would probably have to take him down and you know how the detectives deal with it with the state's attorney on this one. 
because you have to prove that obviously you got to negate self-defense. You got to negate a lot of things. So his, his original, he'll be originally like detained in this one. And then we'll figure it out later type of thing. The way this, the way they probably did it. Yeah. You won't just arrest mm. him right on scene on some shit like this, but yeah, you have to figure it out. He'll have to come with us though. Hmm to the horrific, deadly shooting of a 61-year-old Uber driver. Authorities say she had no idea that the homeowner she was doing a pickup for had been called by scammers and was told that the Uber driver was in on it all. They say the homeowner then shot and killed that Uber driver. Here's Alex Perez. Tonight, Ohio authorities say both people in this video, the man with the gun and the woman, an Uber driver, were scammed last month with deadly consequences. 81-year-old William Brock charged in the murder of 61-year-old Uber driver Lolita Hall. Authorities say Brock had received calls from scammers telling him a relative had been arrested, demanding $12,000 for bail, telling him a driver would stop by to pick up a package with the money. Authorities believe the same scammers directed that Uber driver to pick up a package at Brock's home without telling her what they had told the homeowner. Hall had no idea what she was walking into when she arrived. Brock then confronting her at gunpoint. I was threatened that she was going to come and kill me. Hall frantic. Yes, yes, I know what you're after. Investigators say Brock took her cell phone, and when she tried to get in her car to get to safety, Brock stopped her from leaving, shooting her three times, later calling 911. Well, I shot her in the leg the first time, and I shot her in the shoulder. Hall later died. In a statement, Uber saying this is a horrific tragedy and banning the account of the individual who made the request. And David, authorities say they cannot stress enough law enforcement will never solicit cash that should always be a red flag. David? Alex. Yeah, it's really going to depend upon what those guys said to him, too, and what they said they were. But I'll tell you what, this kind of scam does happen a lot to old people, not like this in particular. But yeah, they made a they lot of money do, off of it. Man, that's, they do. That's, that's super, super unfortunate for both people. Uh, that old man. Uh. He not getting off scot free on that one, yo. Nah, no, no, it, it, depends on how the, it depends on how the shooting went down too. I mean, if he shot her in the leg and now she's on the ground, it's like, and then he and he finishes her off. That's gonna play a part in all this. Well, hold on, wasn't she in the car though? No, he blocked her from getting in the car. I, believe. I thought she was in the car and he blocked them from from her from leaving in the car. Uh, maybe that was it. Because if, if that's the case, then he's got, she never got in the car. She never. Okay. Got in the car. Okay. 